Welcome to NetSuite's demonstration for work order builds. I'm logged into NetSuite as a production manager, and I'll walk through a few key components of the production dashboard. As a production manager, I need to have visibility into what is happening on the shop floor. I can set up KPIs to provide immediate feedback into what has been done and what is coming up, giving me a firm grasp on my manufacturing operations. Reminders identify actions that I need to take specific to my role. Reminders can act as a list of important action items. In this case, I can see there are work orders that need to be built. With the production overview report, I have visibility into what is being done in the manufacturing facility at the individual job level. I can see what's being built as well as the completion percentage of each job in real time. When it comes time to build new assemblies, I can use the reminders portlet we saw above, the standard menu navigation, or I can use these navigation shortcuts that are specific to the production operations. Here, there are also some out of the box reporting options to view things like production variances, component use, and bill of materials. Let's access a recent work order to go through from my recent records menu. This is a work order transaction record. Notice the status of released, which indicates to the shop floor that work can begin on this order. Each work order allows me to enter the assembly item that we'll be building along with the quantity and unit of measure. And because NetSuite has inventory that's updated in real time, it will also let us see what is buildable based on the availability of the components. We can see those components on the item sublist. These show all of the components and subassemblies that are required based on the bill of materials from the item record. Travelers are documents within NetSuite that can be printed and distributed to the production team. This will show what needs to be built and the components that are required. Once production has begun, I can record what's been built using the create build button on this work order transaction. Here, I can input the quantity that we're going to be building as well as the components quantity. Notice that this populates with the defaults from the bill of materials we've already set up. If I have a lot tracked or serialized item, or if I use inventory status, the system will ask for that information in the inventory detail tab. Once I've reviewed the inputs, I can create the build. The build has an immediate impact on our inventory and our financials. It will consume the components and associated labor line items and create our assembly item inventory. This is a real-time connection between operations, inventory, and accounting. If I return to the work order, I can see the real-time impact of the build. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.